Hey what's up Spartans and welcome back to another Halo video. Now in today's video I want to discuss an interesting topic about the Halo Master Chief Collection. And this video I wanted to make for a while now and I want to you know I want to share my thoughts to you guys on what I think about the Halo MCC as a whole you know and where it stands in 2021. And I always ask myself is that should we be grateful that we have the Halo MCC? Should we be happy on where the Halo MCC stands currently. My friend and I were playing Halo and this wasn't too long ago and we normally talk about Halo whenever we hop, in, hop into a game just having a, you know a great time playing Halo and the question he asked me was very interesting he asked me is there a game like the Halo Master Chief Collection does Halo MCC has a rival against his stronger opponent or something very similar like any game and so I paused for a second you know thinking about it and, that's, and it's actually a pretty really good question but a tough one too, you know, and not many people thought about this. So when I look at all these games that are on the MCC in every detail of all the future it has, and you guys might think I'm very biased, but I don't know if there is actually any games is like the Halo Master Chief Collection. You know, try to name me one game that is just like the Halo Master Chief Collection that runs six games with six different engines with PvP you know, and campaign, and that has, you know, over 100 multiplayer maps, plus with crossplay, you know, etc. And there's a filter where you can, you know, turn on and off all the games, you know, uh, and, the, and the gamers that you want to play. And right now I'm thinking, there isn't, an, there isn't a game like the Halo MTC. You know, Halo MTC has came a long way since uh, 2014, uh, which was seven years ago. It's insane. And 343 are still expanding the games to this day. They are still updating these old games, which blows my mind. They have given us, you know, new content for Halo 3 and for Halo Reach, like the new armor pieces and skins. Uh, even though the community don't really find them appealing, but it still adds more variety in the Halo MCC and plus there's a toggle option where you can take off the new armors if you don't really like them, so no excuse for you. And these and these are free updates. Uh, Thief 343 could have easily charged us money but never did and Thief they confirmed a while back there will be a server browser coming in soon which is going to be absolute dope and along with that Thief they announced there will be official mod support for the Halo MCC, MCC which is going to be crazy uh correct me if i'm wrong here but are there any new games out there in 2021 or last year and even the year before and the year before that you know basically six years ago uh does any game out there even sports sports their server browser uh please do let me know down in the comments i really honestly don't know if there are any new games sport a server browser if that's the case then that's insane how Halo MCC will be getting one, right? How sport are we? <laughs> but look, there are flaws that the Halo MCC has. I will admit that. I'm not saying Halo MCC is perfect by any means. It's something, you know, I can't lie about. Uh, heck, most of the time, I get the fatal error message. The game sometimes crashes on me randomly. There are still essential things that needs to be fixed and implemented. For example, there's no veto option anymore where you can vote to vote for a map to play on. I mean they used to be but T43 for some reason they removed it. Uh, even the OG Halo games had the veto option and, and other things like most of the achievements you know are still bugged out you know they're still you know broken uh, they sometimes don't even pop up and the crop latency is broken too. Uh, it boosts you out into the main menu without giving you a warning you know or like a sign or something and then let's see bad hit, hit registration in some of the Halo games. So yeah there are still quite a lot of things that T3 still need to address. There are probably other things that I may not have mentioned. However, I do admire the work you know, T3 has done. I am grateful that I have the Halo Master Chief Collection. I don't know if there are any games out there or like the, or like the Halo MCC where you have all these games built into one. Uh, well, okay, maybe the collection I can think of is probably Orange Box. Yeah, I mean, but that still doesn't come anywhere near on what the Halo MCC offers. Uh, Halo MCC has more content and it's not the, I know it's not the best analogy, you know, but I guess it's the closest thing we can compare to as for right now. I do understand some of you guys may not be too pleased with the Halo MCC like how I am, or uh, it's understandable, you know, but I, want, but I want you guys to think about this. 343 didn't even need to make Halo MCC. They could have easily just remade Halo 2 Anniversary in 2014 instead. They could have you know, gone down to that path instead, you know. Imagine we got Halo 2 anniversary and not the MCC. Uh, think about it, we wouldn't even have, you know, games like Halo C, Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo Reach, Halo 3 DSC. And if you wanted to play those games, you would have to play the Xbox uh, 360 versions of those games. And 343 could have easily ditched the Halo MCC years ago, considering the population was 
was low when Halo C when Halo C was lagging in the dark times between somewhere in 2015 and 2016. When you think about other games that ends up being a failure at launch, people you know stop playing. The population starts to decline, and the developers when they see the numbers dropping, they will stop also. And that's what was happening to the Halo C. But D43 for some reason can never gave up. You could argue argue the fact that they were very slow improving the game, but they never officially stopped working on the game. And most companies nowadays are not really like D43, where they just continue updating the game. Uh, I think the only I think the other developers uh, that should do that also are probably Halo Games, the ones that made No Man's Sky. They are still you know, updating the game, even though the game had a, a very bad launch. Uh, but yeah, it's, like, it's very rare to have developers like those. I think the reason why I feel, you know, why I appreciate the Halo C for what it is, is because I never actually experienced the Halo C when it first, uh, you know, when it first launched. I think that's why I feel this way. Uh, though I got the game in 2017, uh, which I played the camping only, I never had Xbox Live Gold at the time, uh, and it was only on Xbox. So I wasn't playing on that much. Uh, I was more on my PC playing other games. But when Halo C came to PC and on Steam, they released Halo Reach first. And that's when I started to feel, you know, very, very grateful, you know, for the Halo C. You know, so I guess you could say I'm lucky that, you know, I never had the experience, you know, the bad stuff that was happening that was happening in the MCC. So my perspective was very different, you know, you know to others who have been playing Halo C since 2015, 2014. Anyways, I think that's all I wanted to say in this video. Uh, please let me know down in the comments below on, what, on how you feel about the Hidden City. Do you guys, uh, you know, appreciate the Hidden City for what it is? If not, I, I would still love to hear your uh, thoughts about the game. Uh, if you guys are, you know, new here, please do smack that like button and subscribe to the uh, channel for more Halo content. And um, be sure to follow us on Twitch. We literally stream Halo on there like every day. And I'll see you Spawns in the next video. Bye.